Hi guys, again I want to thank everybody who is watching my videos, who is subscribing to this channel, because channel is pretty new. So all your views and subscriptions uh, mean a lot and this is the great help uh, for this uh, new channel to grow. So thank you for that and also for hitting that like button. And let's shift to today's topic. And again, since I see that a narcissistic topic is the most clickable one, is the most watchable one, I continue doing videos about narcissists. But if you are interested in any other problems, just please write down below in the comments and we will get to them as well. I'm a professional psychologist and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. So just let me know what you're interested in and we will get to it. And for now, let's continue about narcissists. Narcissistic relationships are not simple. There are many hidden roads, there are many hidden traps, there are many hidden swamps where you really get and you are sinking there and you don't know how to get out and you don't understand how you end up there and you are completely lost and you don't know what's going on and all that stuff so all this is about narcissistic relationships so now we will talk exactly about this two swamps let's say where you can really get and start sinking there and you wouldn't have the end of it until you know what's going on and you just know not to get in there. So let's talk about these two things not to do in narcissistic relationships. So swamp number one of narcissistic relationships um, uh, that um, uh, this can get you in any relationships uh, doesn't matter where you have that narcissist. Um, it can be your co-worker, your relatives, your partner, your friend, whoever but with this person you always will feel the urge to prove something you always will feel that you want to prove this person that you are not what this person thinks of you but this person will always try to treat you that way or to give some comments or to talk to somebody about you in some specific way that actually you are not and it will be something uh, uh, humiliating, something insulting, something disrespectful and degradating. And you will feel a lot of um, this rebellious feeling in you to stand up and to start proving that you are not this, that actually you are an educated person, that actually you are a beautiful person, that actually you are competent in such and such, wherever this uh, narcissist is uh, talking about you. And you will feel like chasing this narcissist uh, with your proofs on your hands, that you will prove uh, that, uh, look, look, I'm a good co-worker, look, I'm a good employee, look how competent I am look what I know look, look what I can I'm a good mother I'm a good uh, uh, employee or I'm a good employer wherever it is where narcissist is putting you down about so you will really feel this urge that it will be really hard to let it go but here is the key that you should be able to let it go just to understand that this is the specifics this is the nature of these specific relationships with a narcissist that uh, a narcissist always will uh, talk something bad about you because uh, we were talking about that in uh, previous videos where i was explaining how this uh, narcissistic personality works uh, about this split in their psychic uh, and how they play these games with other people and actually uh, all these labels that they put on other people that uh, let's say you are a bad mother and they will be uh, talking about you that you are a bad mother to somebody to give some comments to you about that that you will have this urge to prove that you are not but actually it will be about them it will be their hidden part it will be their shadow 
that they deny to see their shadow that doesn't fit in their perfect image because narcissist is all about a perfect image of himself that he's projecting to the world but everything what doesn't fit to this perfect image is hidden into his shadow where it's projecting onto other people and a narcissist start accusing other people of being such and such which is actually himself so this is a little um, a lyrical digression about the narcissist for you to understand why a narcissist always will talk something negative about you but uh, it wouldn't be about you this is the first thing and second thing you should let this narcissist talk about you forever simply forever let him just talk and think about you wherever he wants you will never be able to change that this is the first thing and second thing as more you will try to change that as more you will try to prove something by chasing him and showing him look i'm not like this as more you will try to do that as deeper you will be sinking into this swamp into these relationships as worse you will feel about yourself and eventually this narcissist will have all the power over you and this is exactly what you don't want to happen second swamp of um, narcissistic relationships uh, actually there are plenty plenty of the swamps there are so many of them we will talk about this two for today so second swamp is uh, talking to other people about this narcissist because this narcissist uh, will uh, behave different um, with you uh, let's say if this is your partner uh, he will behave different um, uh, with you uh, when you are uh, alone with him and with other people with other people it will be the sweetest pie it will be the sweetest person it will be the most uh, kind-hearted person you know how narcissists uh, can present themselves they have so much of charisma they, they, they are really greatest people to present themselves and all of us should learn that from them this is uh, just by the way so other people will have completely different impression of them than you do because you have to interact with them in the more intimate way where they also behave with you in completely totally different way when they humiliate you when they put you down when they make um, uh, all these uh, terminated comments towards you when they are literally emotionally abusing you and you will feel absolutely terrible and devastated in these relationships and you might want to try to talk to others about your relationships you might want to try to look for help um, uh, from others about these relationships and here you will have this smash because other people wouldn't believe that this your partner is what you are saying they wouldn't believe that um, uh, he is doing everything what you are saying he is doing that he is actually the way you are saying he is they wouldn't believe that because they know completely different side of him so you might start hearing what is even called gaslighting you might start hearing gaslighting from these other people when uh, they will start saying you that uh, oh maybe you misunderstood something oh maybe uh, he means something else uh, maybe it's something about you that you understood it in a wrong way so their reaction might start uh, uh, making you doubt your sanity and this is the most dangerous part here because uh, we know about gaslighting by the way write down below if you know about gaslighting or you are interested to know more about that so i can tell you more about gaslighting but this will be a different video so the dangerous part of the gaslighting is that uh, you will start doubting your sanity because a narcissist uh, will convince you that uh, what you think or what you feel it's only in your head 
that this is actually not happening the way you see it that actually what's going on is something completely different and uh, you really have to doubt your judgments um, that probably you have some impaired judgments or maybe you're not even mentally healthy if you are seeing things the way you do so this is what will start happening when you will start um, sharing your feelings and your impressions about these relationships with other people who also also know uh, this person because they wouldn't believe it they wouldn't believe that this um, sweetest person this is the most kind-hearted person the most kind the most attentive the most reliable that this the most the most the most person is actually what you are saying and this reaction of other people will put you in the more devastated uh, condition than you've been before so be very careful about that and um, at least be prepared that this is what might start happening and rather look for help uh, on some independent uh, sources uh, like online with somebody who doesn't know your partner somebody who would be able to understand what you are saying as is so guys if you ever encountered anything of uh, what we are talking here please uh, write down below hit the like button subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video bye